This is your News Now Sports. After a week one loss to Lima Senior, the LCC football team has been nothing short of dominant. Heading into play tonight, the T-Birds have won four straight while outscoring those four opponents by a combined 107 points. LCC looks to continue their dominance at home this evening. They welcome a 3-3 three three Woodland, Indiana team. Late second quarter, T-Birds up 35 zip and Dylan Wilson caps it off with a two-yard touchdown run. LCC is up 42-0 at the break. In the third, they pick up right where they left off as Sean Thomas has plenty of room here. He's finally dragged out of bounds at the Woodland 13. The very next play, Wilson gets the call once again. And look at the elusiveness from the junior as he finds Pater, making it 49-0 LCC. On the ensuing kickoff, Quintel Peoples rips the ball out. It's loose on the goal line before being recovered by Woodland. But that is a safety as LCC dominates in all three phases tonight. T-Birds win at 51-0. College football this evening as Ohio State plays their first ranked opponent in Big Ten foe in the 25th ranked Michigan State Spartans. Second quarter, three zip OSU. How about this play call? Justin Fields looking like he's going to run, but he sees a wide open Benjamin Victor and he hits him. Victor takes it up the sideline, dies for the pylon, and he is in. A 60 yard score makes it 10 zip Ohio State. They lead by three here when field surveys. Plenty of time before rifling one to Luke Farrell, who barrels his way into the end zone. That is a 20-yard connection as the 10-point lead is restored. Late second now, third and two. J.K. Dobbins gets the call, and he has the first down and much more. Dobbins into the secondary. A foot race to the end zone. That he wins. 67 yards to pay dirt for the junior. Ohio State remains perfect with a 34-10 win. Bowling Green hits the road today for a date with ninth ranked Notre Dame and this was not the showing the Falcons were hoping for. Already 14 zip in the first when Ian Book hooks up with Chase Claypool. A 34 yard strike makes it 21 zip Irish and they weren't done. Second quarter now. This is third and 16 for Notre Dame. Look at all the time for Book. He finally finds the open man and that is Javon McKinley for another Irish score. Book throws for 261 and five touchdowns. Notre Dame rolls 52 nothing. Thing. Division 2 action tonight in Finley as the Oilers seek back-to-back -back conference victories. Playing host to winless Kentucky Wesleyan. Second quarter, Oilers trailing. Matt Winsler lets one fly. Lima senior grad Ruben Flowers is on the receiving end. Seven catches for 116 yards for the former Spartan tonight. A few plays later, Winsler on the QB sneak. He's in as Finley takes a 10-6 lead. Late first half now, the Oilers at the one once again. But this time, Winsler rolls to his right and hits Mike Riggerman for the score. Finley rolls to a 38-13 victory. At the Division Three level, ONU has a chance to move above 500 for the first time this season. They seek a second straight win against Marietta. Second quarter, fourth down for ONU. They give us to Brock Martin, who has the first down and more. He's into the end zone for six as the Polar Bears take a 14-7 lead on the ensuing Marietta drive. Paulding grad Jarrett Sitton gets to the quarterback for the sack. That would force a Marietta field goal, making it 14-10 at the break. Third quarter now, the ONU offense starts rolling. And a grad Christian Williams Williams refuses to go down. That's a man's run of 33 yards. Moments later, McFadden rolls to his left and finds Austin Eck for the Polar Bear touchdown. ONU remains perfect at home. They win homecoming 31-23. Moving indoors as the UNOH volleyball team is home for a whack contest against Rochester. Racers took the first set. We pick it up in the second. A high bump set to Casey Yeager, who hammers it home. The Racers lead it to zip. Moments later, Devin Heitkamp joins the fun, drilling it right down Broadway. It's 4-1 UNOH. Then the freshman Ashley Sloss uses some finesse. She finds the floor with her right. Here it's Jaeger once more using the wall to her advantage for the point. She leads UNOH with 17 kills in this one. The racers roll 3-1. We need to take a break here on Your News Now Sports. But when we return, we hit the high school scene once again, starting with a showdown on the pitch between two one-loss teams as Shawnee battles Bluffton. That and much more right after this. On Monday, the Shawnee boys soccer team clinched the WBL crown with an emotional win over Kenton. Well, that showdown is one up to this afternoon as the Indians meet an 11-win Bluffton team that sits atop the NWC. This time that's field we go. Both of these teams have just one loss on the season. Second half, Carter Jensen with a long ball to Jacob Miller, who flicks it up and over the keeper for the goal. A beautiful display of skill from Miller as the Indians jump in front 1-0. 20 minutes later, Bluffton would answer as John Schreiner is in behind the D. He 
uses his left to slot it into the bottom corner, but Shawnee gets a late game winner. The Indians win 2-1. to one. More boys soccer in Wapakoneta this afternoon as the Redskins play host to Lima Senior. First half, no score when Wapak breaks the ice as Connor Lousy's cross into the box is headed off the bar and in by Graham Kinnear. The Redskins take a 1-0 lead in the 19th minute. The Skins would double it as Daniel Prieto gets behind the defense and he buries it. Wapak doubles up Lima Senior 4-2. to two. Girls turn now as we stay at Ryan Field. The Lady Skins are home for a date with Liberty Benton. Less than three minutes in, LB draws first blood as the ball is loose in the box. The first shot is blocked, but the rebound comes right to Chloe Kinn, who makes no mistake. The junior puts the Eagles in front. Twelfth minute, oh, now Alexis Rickenbacker doubles the LB lead. She blows one by the keeper. Liberty Benton rolls 6-1. to one. At Spartan Stadium, the Lady Spartans also in action as they're the home team against LCC today. First half, no score when Megan Latham's low cross finds the foot of Olivia Stolle. That is one of eight T-Birds goals on the afternoon as they win it 8-0. To the tennis courts we go as there's a Division I girls tennis sectional at Finley High School today. Beginning in the semis in the one doubles bracket, Wapak, so Alyssa Good strong at the net for the cross-court winner. And then it's good again, this time with a forehand down the line for another point, but she and partner Casey Minig fall to Perrysburg in a third set tiebreaker. In the other semifinal, Finley's Coleman twins also up against Perrysburg. Here is Kelsey with a forehand winner, but the twins come up short as they fall in straight sets. Finals in the first singles bracket now. Finley's Sydney Swisher lost one up and over her opponent into the backcourt for the point. Swisher claims the sectional crown in straight sets. We finish with more tennis at UNOH. A Division II sectional takes place at Racer Courts. Semifinals in the singles bracket. Shawnee's Arya Patel catches her opponent in the net. She rips a forehand winner. Patel advances to the finals in straight sets. Other side of the bracket, Patel's teammate Kunmi Ojo cranks a forehand winner of her own. Ojo doesn't lose a set en route to a sectional crown. She earns the number one seed in next week's district tournament tie. Also, Esther and Ruby Bowen off the districts as well. All right, congratulations to them. We'll wrap things up after this.